Whether you decided to pick up a butterfly knife from seeing one in a movie, your favorite video game, or someone absolutely popping off on social media, you just had to get your hands on one to try it out. But now you're left wondering, how do I actually use one of these? Don't worry, I got you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to do more tricks than most actors in Hollywood, and you'll experience how fun something so simple can be. But be careful, flipping battle songs can be very addictive. And expensive. So if you're brave enough to continue, let's get right into it. And here's the first battle song trick that I'm gonna teach you. It's called the basic open. By the way, a battle song is the same thing as a butterfly knife. They originated in the Philippines and pretty much everyone that flips just uses the Filipino word battle song. Now, before we get into flipping, I need to mention something very important first. And that is, this is a trainer. So now butterfly knives are called knives because they are, you know, knives. This, however, is a trainer, which means it's completely dull, it's not sharp, it has no point. It's not really gonna hurt you. Whether you choose to use a live blade or not is up to you, please be careful. But part of the fun of flipping a balisong is learning how to flip it as if this part is really sharp. Whether you ever choose to actually flip a live blade or not, it's part of the art of flipping a balisong is flipping it as if this is really sharp, which means that you do not wanna touch the blade. It gives you an extra challenge when you're flipping and it get, prevents you from having to relearn bad practices if you just ignore that. As for the terminology, now this part is it would be the spine of the blade, which means it would be totally safe to touch on a live blade. And so because of that, this is called a safe handle because if you were to throw the balisong over and the spine hits your hand, you'd be safe. Conversely, this is called the bite handle because this would be the blade. So if you were to throw the blade back while holding the bite handle, it would bite you. Now how to do the basic opening. You're gonna start by holding the balisong just like this in your hand. Make sure that the safe handle is closer to your thumb. So you're gonna hold the ballast song just like this in your hand with your thumb over the safe handle and you can release the other four fingers. That way, as you can see like that, the ballast song can just swing freely around. And you can just flick it out so it hits your knuckles. Don't do it too hard or it's gonna hurt. Now what's gonna happen is if you loosen your grip, the ballast song is just gonna rotate down like that. Now if you move your hand over like this and then rotate your hand kind of over the ballast song like that, you can just close your hand and swing the ballast song over in that same movement. Now, once you've done that, you can simply open up your fingers. Remember keeping the thumb out of the way of the path of the handle. You can just flip it up and swing it closed. So that is how you do the basic opening. Now, good news. You also just learned how to do the basic close because it's the exact same steps. You're going to be holding the safe handle, opening up your fingers, swinging the ballast song out, allowing it to fall, rotating your hand, moving it over top of the handle, Swinging out again, moving your fingers out of the way, and closing. To cover that again in less detail, you hold the safe handle, you flick the ballast song out, swing it over, flick it out again, and then close. And then you repeat that to close it. Flick it out, swing it over, flick it out, and then close. And now that I've taught you how to do the basic opening, I'm gonna teach you how to do the basic opening like a pro. The method of having it hit your knuckles is one way to learn it, but you don't wanna actually do that in practice because it hurts, it's a little bit slower, and not as fluid. The better way to do it looks like that. So now with this angle, you can see how I'm doing it. The balance song does not touch the back of my hand. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult and take some more getting used to. Now, instead of throwing the bite handle out and then initiating the swing over to the other side, you're gonna to wanna to do that in one movement. You can do it really slow. And as the handle makes its way around over to where it would hit your hand, you can kind of twist your fingers this way and that'll help it to move the handle away from hitting your hand. So the first swing is gonna look like that, and then you can move it back again. And with this, you're gonna drop down your hand, so that way it's basically is the exact same movement as this, except you're gonna drop down your hand, and as you drop it down, notice that the bell song won't hit it. So if I'm here and I hit it without my hand dropping down, it's gonna hit the back of my hand, but if I drop it down, then it doesn't really. And when you do it all at full speed, it really feels like a scooping motion, like you're flinging it out and scooping it down and then going back to finish it. So you see how like that first throw, it's kind of like a scooping motion. And when you get this version of the basic opening down, you can do that on the safe handle or you can do it on the bite handle because the blade will never touch your hand. Just be careful. And now that you know how to do the basic opening and the basic close like an experienced balance song flipper, I'm gonna show you how we usually do our basic openings. Just like that. That's how you close it. This is called the quick draw. The quick draw is a really straightforward trick and you can do it starting holding the safe handle 
or the bite handle. When opening, it doesn't matter, but when closing, it's easier to be safe while holding the safe handle. What you're gonna do is hold it in the exact same way as you did for the basic opening, to where you can just move your four fingers out of the way and allow the handles to swing freely. You're going to do that. You're going to let go with your fingers. And while you do that, use this kind of motion so that way the handles continue. Now, obviously your hand is in the way. What you're going to do is, and this is the hard part, while the handles are swinging, you're going to adjust your grip. So you're going to move from your hand being over top of the bow song to basically just wrapping your fingers under and then getting your thumb out of the way in midair all really quickly. And that'll allow the handles to open up. And so slowly it would look like this. And then at full speed, it'll look like this. Now to close it, you're gonna do the exact same motion. You're just gonna hold it like this, allow the handles to swing freely as you swing it up. And in the middle of the air, allow it to close. And while the quick draw is a nice no-nonsense opening, if you want to do something a little bit fancier to close it, instead of doing the basic closing, what you can do is called the figure eight or the overhand close. You can also do this trick as an opening, but I find it doesn't feel as good. Now for the figure eight closing, you can do this either with the safe handle or you can use the bite handle, but the bite handle will be a little bit more dangerous as with the quick draw, the blade will be coming into the handle and so you have to make sure for sure that you get your fingers out of the way. Now how to do the figure eight closing. I recommend starting on the safe handle. You're gonna rotate your wrist down so that way the bite handle can swing freely. And as you do that, you're going to whip it up similar to the quick draw, except you're going to keep your grip on it like this and just move your wrist back like this. Now, once you move it like that, you're going to move your wrist over like that. So you're in this position. Now this is all gonna happen in one motion. So slowly in two motions, it would look like this, but in one motion, it's going to look like that. Once you get to this position, as you can see, the handle is gonna to wanna to keep swinging. You're gonna use that momentum and move your wrist over like this. And from this position, you're gonna just swing it around like that. And so that one looks like this. And so faster, it's gonna look like this. And notice how the momentum just brings it around. In the same way as the quick draw, you're just going to move your hand out of the way and adjust your grip to catch it. So now all together slowly, it's going to look like this and then do it at full speed. Now, so far, everything you've learned ends up in the standard grip. If you flip the ballast song around, you get what's known as the ice pick grip or the reverse grip. Now you can do this cool variation on the basic opening, which ends up an ice pick grip. Check out this video tutorial next to learn that trick.